Okay, so a lot of my subscribers use this Spotify as their music streaming service and I found that then I have some tips for them as well because I am a Spotify fan, diehard Spotify fan. I can't live without Spotify right now because I have a lot, I have like huge music catalog on my Spotify account. Whenever I'm working on my website works, whenever I'm doing something where I can listen to music, I listen to music. It is very simple as that. But there are some simple settings that makes the experience of Spotify much much better than before. Now I know all of those things and now I enjoy Spotify more than ever. I think you should also implement all of those Spotify settings to you. So in this video, we'll see what are the top six Spotify settings you should change right now. Okay, so for my convenience, I'm gonna show you doing all of those things on my Mac. By the way, it doesn't matter you are doing that on your Mac, PC, Linux computer, or even on your Android. Yes, I know that on Android or on iPhone, iOS devices, it's a little different, but the features you will get on those devices and on Mac or Windows or PC setups are pretty same. So it doesn't matter that much. As I use my Mac the most for listening music, I'm gonna show you doing the things on my Spotify, on my Mac. You can find those settings on iPhones, Android phones, or tablets or iPads as well. Doesn't matter that much. By the way, before proceeding further, I want to tell you something that I'm not a Spotify subscriber. That means I'm not paying for Spotify. I use the free version of Spotify, and that's the reason some settings are much necessary for me. And whenever I'm outside, my internet connection is not that great. And that is the reason I have to change some setting and you'll get to know that very soon. So the number one setting I always change on my computer or even on my phone, that is the music streaming quality. I keep it too automatic because it doesn't matter that much. The audio quality matters very, very little. If you are not an audio nerd, then this audio quality doesn't matter that much. So you don't need to set that on high, keep it on automatic, it will be pretty good. Believe me or not, try it. The automatic one, do the job very well and the next one is normalized volume i keep it on because the normalized volume helps the audio to be at a level like sometimes the audio gets a very peak sometimes the audio is very low but the normalization sets the music in a pretty good level where i can hear the music in a good stage like it is not bumping so up it is not like very low audio it's like a very normalized audio like it's going in a simple path not up not down it's a very simple path so that's why i keep the normalization turned on the next setting is show unavailable songs in the playlist here you can see i keep it turned on because it's been a long that i was searching for a music and i couldn't find it in my saved playlist i was thinking what was that music and after a very very long one week i found that music again like it's a little hassle whenever a music is uh, pulled up from Spotify and you cannot hear that music, you cannot even find that music anymore and your brain is not showing you which music was that. And that's the point where this feature is very, very handy. It will show you whatever music that was, even if that's on Spotify or that is not in Spotify or the creator or the artist or Spotify has deleted that music from Spotify. All the music that you saved on the playlist will be there even if they are not on Spotify anymore. I know that you cannot listen to that music, but at least you can see whatever music that was. So that's the work of this thing. And I really find this very helpful after that little incident happened with me okay the next setting i turn on is autoplay similar music when the music is in it is also very handy whenever i am working on a project over my website i found that some cool musics are very suitable so i play one cool musics a little chill vibe or even a little cool and natural environment kind of musics and spotify automatically push all those cool musics after my music is in so that's how simple this thing works and it is very very handy whenever i just want to hear some romantic music Music and I just play that one and Spotify automatically find that music for me and it just and I think that Spotify works pretty well with their artificial intelligence things or uh, tags whatever they are doing it's working pretty well and that is the reason I found that the automatic similar song playing system on Spotify is much better than Apple music I have also used Apple music but I never found that to be uh, like my type I, I never I don't know why but I didn't enjoy that one by the way now we're in the fifth part but there is a thing this fifth and sixth part is not available in the normal mode so you have to click on this advanced setting and inside of this advanced setting you will find this playback crossfade music so what it does is it plays back the next music after the fast music is around finished like before three seconds like it cross the music the sound will be little less and it will come 
gradually so this crossfade setting will make your experience much better while you are listening to a music because the fast music is not yet ended next music is coming like very little and with time it will get amazing so that's the work of crossfade put it on three seconds and i know that i believe that you will enjoy this so much after all we are at the end and this is the final and the sixth feature this is startup behavior and it's only for mac windows and linux users it's not for android or ios or other mobile users because this is about the startup behavior whenever i turn on my computer spotify automatically turns on but i never found it to be very handy like it slows my mac a little bit as i have a little lower tier mac it just slows the process of turning on the mac a little bit because after turning on the mac it has also need to turn spotify with it keep the startup behavior to know and it will help you to speed up the process of turning your mac a little faster whenever i install spotify on my computer i usually change this six setting as soon as possible anyway i hope that this six setting will help you to change and improve your spotify experience to the next level anyway i haven't shown you doing the things on my mobile devices but you can find them on your mobile devices too that's it bye